these ghosts are very sexy because they sort of look like me. wait they are me hello everybody my name is game readers 101 welcome to a mod review on the hardcore ender expansion mod i'm gonna turn the volume down here because these dudes like to scream a lot so the hardcore ender expansion if you can tell by the name of the mod adds some expansions to minecraft in the end and they're pretty hardcore if you ask me uh, first of all the dragon now the dragon has gotten a difficulty update derpy overgrown reptile and the dragon i don't know why the name switched there but uh here we go the ender dragon now he gets harder depending on what difficulty you're on so he could be harder per difficulty and i believe when you destroy a crystal yeah TNT will fall from the sky. Is that TNT? Yeah, that's TNT. TNT will fall to, from the sky, and I believe that's with every single one. Yes, indeed it is. So yeah, the Ender Dragon's way harder than before. Let's get some snowballs here. Just so we can take all these off, and then fight the Ender Dragon, and see what he drops. And the Ender Dragon's really hard. He's got, whoa, what the hell? That one did like, oh my god, that one exploded obsidian. This guy's giving me a hassle right now, so let's destroy all these, and I will see you guys once we actually see some new abilities from the Ender Dragon other than these Crystal Obelisk abilities that are with the mod. So one of the Ender Dragon's new abilities is that he dives underground and comes back above ground instantaneously like that, trying to knock you up in the air. He also shoots fireballs, and he can shoot a lot sometimes. And, uh... Overall, with this mod, the Ender Dragon's really, really hard. Alright, so, and you see another ability here. He gives you, a uh, Poison, Nausea, and Blindness. Now, you can, I don't still see him, though. Uh, maybe it's because I have some particle effects or something off. I don't know. But, I don't know if you're able to be able to see him there, but we're just gonna keep on knocking him down here until he uses some other abilities. Maybe let's change up the difficulty to hard, see if he uses any other ones here. Your Doom is what his name has changed to. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna keep on shooting at him, see if he uh, activates any new abilities here. What the hell, I can't see, but I still hit him. Oh, I hit him again. Alright, as you see here, he goes into like super defensive mode, and gets a lot of defense for some reason. As you see him hit him with one, two, three sometimes, and uh, I believe at this point he spawns in a bunch of bats. This is actually what I'm gonna do right now. I'm actually really scared to do this. Let's see if he uh, does anything. Oh, he likes to shoot a lot of fireballs, as you can see there. It's one of his other abilities. And, uh, alright, yeah, let's go back into game of one. Show off that fireball ability. Okay. And let's finish off the Ender Dragon now. To show you what he drops. Oh, he also does some lightning abilities, too. Okay, so after you kill the new Ender Dragon boss, or your Doom, whatever his name, he will then drop not only a billion XP, but... He will drop Dragon Essence, and the use for Dragon Essence, I believe there is no use right now besides something that we're going to view later in this mod review. So this mod adds in a lot of bosses and also makes the Ender Dragon harder, obviously. Uh, so we're going to be checking out the mobs, some of the items, and bosses, so let's go back to my little island. Okay, so some of the new mobs added in this... Uh, I believe they are indeed all hostile, so let's check them out here. We're going to start off with the Brainless Enderman, which uh, is brainless, obviously. And I'm pretty sure they act stupid, way more stupid than uh, other Endermen, regular Endermen. Then we got Angry Enderman, which is obviously angry right when he spawns in. Uh, like, automatic angry is completely hostile without even looking at him. Now, Baby Enderman... If you couldn't tell, it's a baby Enderman. He's dead now. Uh, next is Vampire Bat. Now, I believe the Vampire Bats... What the fuck? Where'd he go? Is, what, is one of the abilities that Ender Dragon does. Uh, he'll spawn in a bunch of Vampire Bats. And I believe they will attack you and give health back to the Ender Dragon. Because I believe I fought the... Yeah, I fought the Hardcore Ender Dragon in Season 3 of MechaCraft. Um, and we also got the infested bat. I don't know where they come from. Uh, moving on, we have the fire golem, which is obviously a golem made of fire. I believe he will inflict fire damage. He drops fiery essence, 
and last but not least on the regular mobs is Scorching Lens, who also drops Fire Essence. So, uh, moving on to the bosses, which we will not show off all of them, but we will show off two of them right now and one of them in the overworld. So, here is Flo Buffle the Fire Fiend, or Fire Fiend, because I believe his name's not always Flo, 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 Flo Buffle. So, let's go ahead and kill him. So, Flobuffle just drops a bunch of Fiery Essence when you kill him. And, um, uh, moving on to the next boss is the Ender Eye. Now, this is one of the coolest bosses I've seen in a while. It's a very interesting boss. So, with the Hardcore Ender expa Expansion, the mod will add in all these floating islands, and some of them will have structures or even biomes on them. So, here in this biome, there's a bunch of friggin' Enderman spawners, angry Enderman spawners, bookcases, you know, moving on to next floor, is some more stuff, there's the Ender hat that I'm wearing right now, uh, there's a fucking purple flower in a dispenser with an emerald, keep on going up, there's more loot, more hats, I like the hats, and here's some actual loot this time, Ender Pearl, no fall damage, no gravity, uh, and some more stuff in here, diamond, but moving on to the top floor, the top and final floor, here at the top is Tilep the Ender Eye, or just Ender Eye, you know, they all have random names at the beginning. But the Ender Eye, which is one of the coolest bosses I've seen in a while. Now, I would fight him out of creative mode, but he will probably knock me off. So, right when you attack him, he's gonna go into overdrive here and start attacking you, you know. Right. And then, actually, no, we're gonna stay in uh, game mode 1 because, as you saw there, he spawns in like those purple lights. It gives you blindness, slowness, nausea. And his D, I believe, oh, there you go. And there's one of his abilities where he'll knock you the fuck off. <laughs> so, this is a really cool boss. I really like the idea of fighting an eyeball, I guess you can say. Uh, there goes his, like, super defensive mode. Now, these purple laser beams, they do a lot of damage when they come from this guy from uh, his ability there. They do a lot of damage. Like, they can, some of the, it can insta-kill you sometimes if you don't have, like, good enchanted armor. Good enchanted diamond armor, I guess. But we will finish off Tilep here. He's just gonna deflect. I, be I believe he's resistant to arrows. But we will finish him off here. And he will drop Eye of Ender and Gem Fragment. Now, Gem Fragments are used to make an item called the Gem. But we will talk about that later. Right now, we're gonna talk about some of the items in the mod. I don't know what most of them do. And I try to find a wiki for some of them, and some of them aren't on it. So, let's go over the items now. Okay, so some of the items are obviously the Enderman Head, Infested Bat Wing, which I believe is edible, Ghost Amulet, which I believe does not have a use as of right now. If it does, it probably, by going off a guess or something, probably would make you invisible. But no, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything right now. Okay, and moving on, we got Dry Splinter, which uh, I believe has a use. Yeah, Spooky Log, I think Spooky Leaves. Uh, we got Endoplasm, which is used around an Enderman head to make a Soul Charm, and also a Rope Mirage Orb. Now, let's actually take that out. Uh, Ender Powder does not have a use. Shatter Enderman Relic. This makes an Enderman Relic. We'll go over that, maybe, if I figure out what the fuck it's useful. But we have this right here, the Soul Charm. As you see here, you're charming up the souls, bro. I just charmed all those souls. Now we have a Temple Caller, which I have no idea what that does. But Alter Nexus, I don't know. These are some altars right here uh, where you use your essence on. And I, I, I've i been trying to figure out what the hell these things do. I don't know. But moving on, other than that, we have Infestation Remedy, which I guess is used to get rid of the infestation bats when the, uh, what do you call it, Enderman, Ender Dragon does it. And then we got Potion, Splash Potion, Instability, which makes you really slow for some reason. I'm guessing that's like a random potion effect each time. Uh, but next on the list, we have the Instability Orb. Now, you will throw this down, and I'll start making particle effects like so. And after a while, we'll start to bubble up a lot here and just spew out a bunch of particles. And after it does this for long enough, it will drop a random item. No matter what it is, it will drop that random item. It's really cool. Now going over this 
a corporeal mirage orb, a corporeal mirage orb. If we right click on the ground, we will summon a mirage of us. Now, this is freaking amazing because look how sexy I am. I'm pretty sexy, like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a person to brag about sexiness, but we spawn like 10 of these guys down. You got like an army of sexy people. And I'm getting a boner from that. So, moving on. We're gonna head over to one of the new biomes added in the mod. It's just called the Sky Biome, apparently. Well, this is the one, the new biomes with the new wood, the spooky log, and spooky leaves. Those leaves are spooky. And they have loot here. With, a uh, this is really random loot, too. Uh, with Enderman spawners here. Not Enderman spawners, Silverfish spawners here. And I have the game mode on Peaceful because Endermen are really annoying. So this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna go to the overworld. We're gonna check out the final boss in this mod, which is one of the coolest bosses. And there's also one other guy we have not looked at, but I will, I will show you guys him in a bit when we're in the world. Okay, so back on the overworld. If you fight the Ender Demon, which is one of the last bosses in the mod, Right next to the demon, the eye and the fire fiend. Now, if you spawn this guy, prepare for crap to happen. So here we go. The Ender Demon. Now, summoning the Ender Demon and fighting him will summon the Enderman Apocalypse. As you see here, Enderman will start falling from the sky. Obsidian will start falling from the sky, and lots of stuff starts happening. This guy also likes to spawn in these guys, called Ender Guardians, which are like big ass Endermen, and you know, they drop Obsidian. So yeah, this guy will summon the Enderman Apocalypse, will spawn, spawn in a bunch of Endermen, and falling Obsidian from the sky. So let's see what happens if we kill him. Okay, so when you kill him, go home Enderman, you get the achievement right there, and his drops are, let's go ahead and clear inventory bit here. His drops are the second Enderman Relic piece, which combining these together uh, will make the Enderman Relic, which I believe does not have a use as of right now. But killing him will also end the Enderman Apocalypse. and I'll finish off the remaining Enderman, and you are good to go. And that, everybody, was the Hardcore Ender Expansion mod. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more Minecraft content, mods, and other stuff that I do on this channel. My name is Gamers101. I will see you guys in the next mod review or next Minecraft series. Bye 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 bye.